All right, guys. Well, it's Sunday morning, and I just got out here to the yard, and I think this is going to be my um, task. I've been wanting to get this done for a couple days. Actually, I've been wanting to get it done for a while, but the weather forecast hasn't cooperated. So we got a torrential downpour yesterday, really, really, really heavy rain. So I'm really glad I hadn't planted these out yet, but I just was looking at the forecast, and in the seven day, there's no rain, and lots of sunny temperatures. Now these snapdragons I've been hardening off for a few weeks now. So they are used to some cooler temperatures. However, they've never stayed out overnight. So there is that like <laughs> little bit of a like, ooh, you know, nervous moment um, to leave them out overnight. But what I'm gonna do is try to fit as many as these as I can like realistically in this bed. And this is one particular type, which is a mixed variety of snapdragons. And let me just show you really quickly the um, netting system that I came up with. So I got these dowels um, in the fencing section of the hardware store, and you can see they're nice and tall. And then I did get a roll of this um, flower netting on Amazon, and I'll link that below for you. And I just, you know, worked on it, stretched it tight, and got to where it'll fit nicely in my Vigo garden bed. So. I am super excited about this way of staking these kind of tall flowers so I get straight stems. Um, snapdragons, if they fall over, will bend towards the light and you will get some like bent stems, which can be fun, but I want to try to keep them as straight as possible. So anyway, I have this raised up really high right now. And what I'm going to do is lower this down to start and then I can continue to, you know, gently raise that up as the flowers get taller. So I'm excited about how this is going to work. And then over here, past my pea trellises, sorry about a wiggly camera, but walking over here in my rain boots, um, this is my other varietal. So these are a deep, dark purple color, so a pretty deep color. And I can tell the difference of the seedlings. These ones look very different to me. They're a deeper, darker color. They kind of have a purpley look to them. So this is in totality what I have for um, seedlings. And so what I'm gonna do with the rest of them is either give them to neighbors, friends, um, if they would like to, you know, give me a little donation so that I can continue my yardening work, that would be awesome. If not, then, you know, that's fine too. Um, but I am gonna try to fit as many in here as I can. So that's my project for today. I'm gonna go ahead and get rolling on this. All right, so here's what I have for placement and count. I believe I have 34 here in the bed, and then I have 29 left over of this variety. So that's pretty good. And some of these actually have multiples in them. So I could either, um, yeah, I could, you know, I think that looks nice for someone that's gonna take it. It's like, oh, I'm getting a two for one or something like that. So the ones that had two in there, I kind of um, left, but I am gonna give everyone a good watering. These are getting pretty dry. The ones in here, of course, will get watered in, but I'm really excited about way, the way this is gonna turn out and how many gorgeous cut flowers I'm gonna have. Now, snapdragons do really well for me. They last most of the season. Um, I do kind of a kind of a larger like refresher cut in the middle of the summer, and then they'll come back like a new flush in the fall. So I had a lot of success with these last year, and I'm really excited to grow them as cut flowers this year. And I'm excited that I sewed enough, and they did so well that I have some to give or sell. So it's really exciting. Hey guys, so here is the first bed all done up, and now I'm going to plant it up, I should say. Now I'm going to water it in, and then I am going to move this um, flower netting down quite a bit. Um, and then, yeah, these are the leftovers. So I think my count was 30, I don't know, you guys, I keep losing count. I'm like not a numbers person. Some fun fact about me. Um, anyway, these are my leftovers. I'm very excited. Most of these have two and three in um, each one. So yeah, I've got this one done and now I'm just need to work on the second one, but I've got to go get the kids lunch and do a couple other things because that took me about, well, you know, I've been like at it for a while, but to actually plant it up probably, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes. So, um, and I was taking my time and trying to do crack placement and like, you know, being methodical and putting in my fertilizer and just kind of enjoying myself. So um, anyway, yeah, so I got to go do a couple of things, but this bed is next on the to-do list. All 
right, so here's what we've got going on this one. And I think I might be able to squeeze a few more in here. I'm planting these a little tighter than the other um, Vigo garden bed because um, I don't have quite as much room because of those other bulbs coming up, but I'm gonna work on that a little bit more. What I'm trying to do with the planting is really like stagger. So if I've got two here, I'm gonna have one there and two there. So hopefully you can kind of see what I'm talking about. Um, so instead of having them, you know, exactly in rows, it's like there's two and one and two and one, and that will kind of give the plants a little bit more room. So it's kind of like brick, like a brick laying, um, I guess, pattern, if that makes sense, <laughs> like every other one. So anyway, um, that's how I'm trying to get the most space. So I have to do a final count here, but I have more of these left over. So yeah, I gotta get everybody watered. Here's another reason I really needed to get this done today. Look at how many trays this freed up for me. So, I might use them, I might need them, and I'll probably go ahead and transfer the rest of those ones into any plastic trays that I have because it's easier to do watering that way. So my job here is done today. Sorry, my dogs are barking no matter how much I, anyway. Um, job is done today. Got my Snapdragons all in. So they're looking really good. Tell me in the comments, what do you think about my spacing? Um, how do you think it's looking? Do you think I did not enough or too many? Here's the other bed over here. Again, sorry about the barking. Um, I feel like I packed a few more into this bed, again, because I didn't have those bulbs coming up, but overall, I'm really happy with the netting system and how many I was able to plant today.